All right, it is time to get ready for Phoenix. Uh, just did a couple of laps just to test out the baseline, what iRacing provides. 28.3. Um, really, it's a fairly stable set. Um, but it is just that. It's not the open set. Uh, I don't think they have an open set for phoenix yeah so um it's pretty tight already and uh yeah we're just gonna we've got a bunch of setups already on the forums from daniel brett and uh i think uh wallace so um we're going to do some tweaking ourselves right now and then uh, see what we can get. But we know we need to be 27 eights. Uh, so let's go ahead and do our normal thing. We're going to drop the rear and we're at 58% cross. Let's go ahead and drop this down to 8.6. Seems to be right where. I like the car. Um, other things, we can take some nose weight, back this up just a bit to get it a little looser. And we're going to take a look at. Drop that a hundred. And then we've got a fairly smooth track. So I think we're going to go threes all around. And then we can keep everything else at fives for, for the moment, uh, just to kind of figure out what it feels like. I know that these are bit more fine-tuned when iRacing does it, but um, we want to go based off of what we know right now. I think we can go a little more camber in the left front. I have to take that out. Um, in the rear, the soft. See, I still don't remember this. I always got to read it at the bottom of the screen. Uh, harder arm, more oversteer. So, I think we want to go... Let's take it up to P3. So, we got P3 in the front and the rear front brake bias. We can take this back. And let's go see if I've made this undrivable. Looking at the tires from last time. Just since you're not putting as much force on them, we're not getting, I think, the very one-sided wear as we do at one and a half miles tracks. Gearing, I think, is going to be very key on uh, what you do on a long run. I'm guessing there will be downshifting. It's not something I like to do, so we might stay out of that. We are definitely going down and across. That will be a thing constantly. No, no turn into the corner there. Get a good exit though compared to the best lap that I've had. Should get down to a O. Loose on throttle out there. 28-1. Close. Let's see if we can get a better entry into the corner here. And we're a little tight through the center now, but it's coming back to us. A little loose on exit. Very loose on exit. And now it's just a wobbly mess down the back stretch. A 
Let's just see what we got for speed difference. Because sometimes cutting on this new version isn't all that helpful. Shit. Alright, so the rear end way too loose on the exit of two. We did find some speed, 28.0. It's definitely not near what Dan Daniel said he could get. Um, let's even those out. Let's go ahead and drop this back down to a P2. We will go... Let's tune this thing up. We want a bit of weight off right rear. So let's do that. And let's go give it another shot. And let's go ahead and do telemetry and take a look at how far we've got it off the ground right now because we could probably get a bit more grip if we get it lower to the ground and I wasn't hearing any scrapes other than when we were crossing. It still feels really sketchy off of four. Once I get the set where I want it then I'll practice shifting and doing all that. Working on gearing. gonna guess that we fall off pretty pretty far here during a run setup or the steering feels really weird down the back stretch up my force feedback a bit more Off of turn two is gonna be hell. Felt like I had to shift down there. Yeah, one and two is gonna be. That's where all the speed's gonna be. Someone that can get through there quickly is they are set. All right, let me pull this up on telemetry. See what it says for heights. Tire temps look fine. That's good. Right heights, and I'll pull this over here so you guys can see what I'm looking at. All right, so right heights. The front is way up in the air. Let's go to this. Yeah, we've got a lot of room to work. Um, what's this? This was coming up onto the track or now that was through the kink yeah we got some room to work so about a half inch front and rear let's give that a shot see what it does to the car and then we'll start taking a look at these other setups so Let's go with two, 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 two. All right, two low on the lifts. Go back up one all around. Head out there real quick. See if that took it too far.
I don't want to just because there's setups out there, I don't want to just grab those and go. I want to see if I can get the baseline to the times that they're doing. Otherwise, I'm just not learning anything. We didn't gain any speed. Well, maybe we have. It's really dead even. We gained more stability. Uh, we might be better off raising the front end just a bit. But overall, didn't feel... I mean, I felt more stability through 2 and 3, or uh, 1 and 2, but... Yeah, we really didn't even drop the car that much. Car's not dropping a whole lot here, so maybe the shocks, we can allow them to go a little further. But, all right, well, let's go ahead and just save that as ours. And then we are going to load up, start with Wallace. And let's just take a look at his. He's lowered the right sides. He has a lot of front brake in it. He's got a 58.4 cross. He's went up on the right front spring. Uh, I think down on the left rear. Lots of negative preload here and a small bar on the rear. And then has went 10 on all the slopes. So or most of the slopes, so let's go give this a shot, see what it feels like. It could just be, like, this track and me have not got along, so we could just be slow on everything. Um, that is a very real possibility uh, that I just am not getting the speed out of the car because... All right, definitely different gear in this too. Pulling a lot more RPM. Turns into three fairly well. I might also pull into the pits and make sure that we're not damaging the car, the underside going over that. All right, very unstable. Well, we damaged the car there. Let's give it another go. Just gotta be uh, a little kinder to the throttle off the corner. Lots of rotation on corner entry and 
then I got off it, the nose lifted, and we pushed up. I mean, this one feels really good through three and four. If I can just not suck over here in one and two, I would probably get into the 27s. Now we're getting a little bit of push and then a bit of a wiggle there off the corner because it had too much wheel in it. It just feels so good through three and four. There's a 27.9. See if it starts to feel better through one and two. There was a little better, but we were a little slower as well. Overdrove that. Okay, this thing feels really good when you hit three and four, right? And it's the quickest that we went. Twenty-seven, nine, eight. Let me take a look at telemetry with this just to see the ride heights are doing anything different. And... No, actually the rear end... Holy crap, the rear end is... massively in the air. Look at this thing. This is twice as high... Is what we were running. Where are the static heights? It's got to clear up to 1.2, 1.7. Shit. All right. Well, this thing, if we drop it, might be fairly quick. Okay. So we'll we'll look at that and see. Um, then we're gonna go with. I think this is. Double check who's this is. Want to make sure I get the right setup from the right person. So Oh wait, that wasn't Wallace's. That was Brett's. Edits to Wallace. Wallace is base one. Dan's is base edits. Okay. So. What we just tried was. Brett's. Edits to Wallace's. So let's go ahead. Try Dan's. Because we know this one's. Completely different base. Let's take a look at it. 33, all the tires are the same as the uh, default. Uh, looks like he's got a little less cross than default, kind of where we were headed. 3,015, way more camber, 10s all around. Um, the rear, different preload. Uh, it's got the preloads down to zeros. Bars at three one, and uh, then no toe anywhere in it. So let's go give it a go. Really having a hard time entering the corner when I cut down. Uh, it feels like it's 
more difficult to get this car all the way up to the wall. A little loose off the corner. Almost overdrove the corner. It's it's not wanting to turn very well through center. I'm, I'm telling you, one and two, that is where everyone is going to be passing because so many people are going to push wide and have trouble. I'm just soft pace. driving the car, but I'm not getting close to what he said he was running. Let's try to overdrive the corner, get it stop, more brake. I tend to not use enough brake or steering. Is picking up speed. It's getting more stable as it goes. I'm going to try something next lap. Just thinking back to uh, North Wilkesboro in this car. really liked the high line keeping momentum in it. No, we're never going to get that to work here in this corner, but yeah. Um, this car's still a bit tight. So, kind of like in Brett's edits more. Let's go check out what he went from, which was base one. So let's see if the rear end's still up. Yeah, rear end's still up in this, so I don't think there's going to be much of a change, but let's go figure out what this is, and then I think I'm going to try lowering the rear end on this and seeing if that gets us a bit more grip and speed. I think the gearing is helping out a lot. Still gets through uh, three and four amazingly. Just the way it comes through this corner. I wish I could get that feel over here in one and two. Maybe I'm just not driving it right. Yeah, I want 
once I add in shifting, then I start screwing up everything. Okay. I want to drop the rears. So I feel like this thing's going to generate a lot more downforce if we drop Double check cross fifty eight four. Oops. All right, fifty eight three. I'm fine with that. Uh, let's do that. Fifty eight six. Fifty eight three. Okay. Let's go give this a go. See if it makes it any quicker. Also been thinking about what would happen if I tow one of the rear tires in a way that would help it if it starts to slide. Kind of bring it back in. Alright, so we might have hurt might have hurt the corner entry into three and four. Tires come up. It's not quite as good through three and four, but a little better through one and two. better traction out of two and it's just not as good of turn in through three and four but that traction out of two is that's going to be key getting passes done So we've tightened the car up. Don't don't like how that really felt. Let me look at telemetry real quick. See if anything. It's funky with the heights. The rears are definitely down now. Nose is still the same. Let's. Go ahead and that way that's not gonna get us to where we want. Go here. Get some weight back on it. Fifty seven six. No. Get it down there. Okay. So uh we can go with Further back on the brake bias, toe in, get that settled in. Let's go give this a go. Then we'll take a look at that left front camber, since I know Daniel had that up. Let's go see. That might get us a bit more to turn in. It's still not as good. Three, 
three and four. I can already tell. But you can see just how much we gain out of the corner there, which is going to help us turn in and get under someone here. I don't think passes are going to be made off this corner. I don't. I don't think it's going to be that much of a benefit. I really think that as tricky as this corner is, you're going to want to sacrifice a little bit in 3 and 4 for 1 and 2. Looks like we can do about 85 laps on a run, so that is a long ass ways. Missed the corner there. I've definitely slowed the setup down, but uh, one thing I need to take a look at is what are we doing to the tires on this thing? Right front's getting getting hot, but not crazy quickly. Let's uh, take this up to six. It's going to screw all this up, which is annoying. That drops our cross all the way to 53, which we definitely don't want. Let's get it back to a decent range. 56, one. 57, two. 6, nine. I guess that's going to have to work. Well, let's go see if I've completely messed this setup now. It's no big deal. Nothing I've done so far has really helped it. Like, I would say drop the rear end if you want a better one and two. And, uh, just a bit how it is if you want a better three and four. This thing just wants to instantly loop on us, or if we hit on a combination of a couple of ideas. Okay, a looser out of two. Push out of the corner. Might be able to take the rear bar back to a P2. But that camber change has definitely, with the weight difference, got a speed, but we've lost stability. So, um. I don't know, this is going to be a tough one to balance this car. Uh, two different corners is really, 
really changing things up, and it's making it difficult for me. Uh, I really think, I really, really think that one and two is going to be key for um, stability and speed. So I think what I am going to do is take this and uh, drop the rears like we did, and that will be my that'll be my test, and we'll try to get a class A race in with that, and I will post the changes that I've made on the forums, but yeah, it's, uh, this is going to be a tricky week. Uh, you gotta, you gotta decide where you want to be good at. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't seem like you can make it good everywhere, but could just be missing a few things. So, uh, let me know what you come up with. And if you use any of these sets, thanks for everyone that's been posting setups in there, you know, gives me something to look at and compare and try to yeah put all the ideas together so we'll uh we'll see where we end up for friday but gonna be an interesting week i feel thanks for watching